Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Today we will be diving into Clover, which is a creative note-taking application. And what I'm gonna be touring is how you can go about using it. Basically a getting started, guys, for those who might be interested. Now, this is really best suited for those who are more creatively led because Clover has this feature that where you can create documents, but you can also create something called surfaces. And surfaces are basically like canvases where you can sketch ideas, bring wireframes to life, even brainstorms and things like that. So I wanted to do a video about how to get started. We just finished releasing the Clover Made Simple course, which you can get for free below, as well as all the other Tool Academy classes, um, and if there's also the Obsidian Notion one, which are paid, but you can check out a link in the description below if you fancy learning a new tool, or maybe even just discovering it. So here we are with Clover in front of us, and I'm gonna give you an overview of, of things like the daily notes, uh, the document surfaces feature, the linking and also just how to set things up in terms of tasks and things like that. So as you can see in front of us, I have my daily notes and daily notes essentially allows you to organize the day ahead with not just notes, but also tasks um, and your calendar. So as you can see here, well, as you can see yesterday, I have my Google Calendar connected, which means it brings in the event in also which I can create a brand new page on, uh, a document. So for example, if this finished by Clover Made Simple was a, a page, I can create it uh, and it would naturally allow me to start bringing a conversation, adding tasks, uh, bringing notes together for that. Now, as you can see, I didn't get two things done yesterday, but if I go to Friday, what I can see here in the center is anything that is notes, documents, or text related, uh, that is for my day there. These, these, ignore these for a second. They're overdue in page tasks, which we'll come to in a moment. This is really where the magic happens in terms of planning your day. So in this case, I can do plan launch a bench party, uh, uh, the, the bento launch party, and you can see that I've allocated the date for due to be done today. Um, and you can move it if you want to to tomorrow um, if you find it relevant. So I also had two tasks here, the overdue ones that didn't get done yesterday. I need to buy the groceries and record episodes. So you can pop them back into your sort of main core area just by doing that. And any tasks um, that are associated to a page, so for example, um, I've you know got these uh, Vento design ones that are due January 4th. Well, they basically live inside of the page task. So if I go into the page, um, this is what a document looks like. And documents are, are very easy to sort of um, get started with, you press the slash command, much like you would in most other applications, and start getting rolling. So it's very simple in terms of being able to create to-dos um, and be able to type out a document. You can even use some of the rich media elements like images, YouTube, um, and even connect a surface. So documents are, are pretty handy, and then top right-hand corner you have a handy function called tasks, where you can see your to-do done and canceled tasks for that page. And you can also have that in daily notes. So if you go up here, you can see the things that you need to do today in more of a fine-tuned view, which is quite helpful. Now, there's obviously a lot of conversation probably saying to me, Francesco, how, how do I go about doing a journal? Well, you could start typing away down here. Um, I actually created a journal, and this is actually an episode of the course, but yeah, here you go. So I've given it a date of January the 3rd, and as you can see, everything comes and piles in so I can I can type away my journal down here as a brand new page. But what's nice is when you link something between a page, much like uh, other apps like Obsidian um, and even Notion, it creates backlinks. So for example, if I went to January 3rd, um, obviously it won't appear on the center bit because I haven't linked it there. However, you can see the backlink is available there. So anything you, um, so for example, if I were to go into uh, this one, say, and I at mentioned uh, like brainstorming uh, for this bento look uh, and I click into the bento uh, brainstorming one, you can see the backlink has been created between them. So anything you at mention helps create a backlink, uh, which is very helpful. And you can do this to a granular level. So if I went over to um, oh, 2022 goals, you can see that uh, if I wanted to, I could copy this link at run 43 minute 10K go over to running notes and I've already done it, but you can paste it and get a direct link back to, 
So you can paste it and get a direct link back to this block. So that's very helpful when it comes to being able to um, keep an eye on um, the pages that you've got connected and you can see the backlink has been made there. So bank links are quite helpful just to build that sort of relationships up. Um, I'm gonna go back to daily notes. In the premium, we've also got inbox and uh, a labels as well if you want to. Um, and as you can imagine, let's have a little look at the premium pricing. Uh, it is per month $7.50, unlimited guests, unlimited blocks, um, inbox and labels, uh, full text search as well. So as you can imagine, uh, introductory pricing, but something uh, you can check out if you want those unlimited blocks. For start, you get a thousand blocks up to three guests and 50 meg upload. So um, let's show you a little bit more around this application. Um, one thing you can do is connect your Google Calendar. And as you can see, you can see um, all of the calendars I've got connected here. And you can skip ahead in your calendar. So next Wednesday looks like a fairly busy day, but I could start creating meeting notes based on these uh, events that are happening. I can also go over to uh, my settings cog and customize the theme quite aggressively. So you can have a dark mode, you can even do some more advanced stuff with hex codes, which is very cool. Now I'll show you the awesome uh, abilities to do with command, but actually I'll show you the surfaces. So let's create a brand new surface. So we showed you a document earlier, but this is a surface. So essentially what you can do is not just add text, but you can add shapes, um, on the screen really easily. And this works on the iPad too, which is pretty handy. You can use um, the uh, like lines um, and also arrows as well. Um, and you can even use a pencil as well too with loads of gradients and changing options, um, which is pretty handy. Um, you can search for icons as well and move the sort of viewer point to how big you want it, but you can just use pinch to zoom to uh, really keep zooming out to apparently an infinite canvas, which uh, you know, you might get lost, <laughs> but if you've got some text, you should be able to find certain areas of it. So it's a great way to visualize stuff. Um, let's just see what a fully demonstrated version of that looks like. Um, here go for the app designs. You can see that um, you can be able to make relationships, add text. And what's cool actually that I didn't, uh, I think well, I was pretty impressed with because I didn't know whether it was even gonna be possible. You can add to do. So if it was like check in on this and you put it for tomorrow, you can go over to daily notes and it'll appear there tomorrow. Um, and that's due inside of this surfaces. So surfaces are quite cool and you do have some helpful, um, some helpful templates to help you get self get started in terms of using like Gantt, Crazy Eights, Cornell Notes, concepts that are already in productivity world. Woo. You've also got um, quick add. So quick add can be um, used um, using the global command, um, which I believe is command, uh, I'm gonna say option and enter. Um, although you can change it inside a setting, so it really is dependent on what setup you want, because you might already have Alfred and other stuff running like that. But let's say I wanted to add a task when I was inside something already, like let's say I was planning or organizing something else, and I was like, right, I'm writing some book notes. I don't want to be disturbed. Well, that's out of task. Maybe I could read for our work week. I can add that as a task for today. Now, where does that go? That goes inside the daily uh, notes area. So it goes to the last point you were in and naturally you'll have a task there to do. Now, what's cool with tasks is you can actually tick them off, but you can also cancel them and give them a bit of a stronger indication in, in, in terms of if there was an important one uh, to do uh, on your list. I think I sped through that really fast. <laughs> uh, but that is a overview of how um, Clover works. Um, you can check out the Clover Made Simple course. It's got 15 lessons which you can dive into. Uh, it's free to download as well or free to stream or check out uh, on Tool Academy. Um, a big thank you for stopping by today. Hopefully you found this video useful. Feel free to comment below um, and ask any questions. We'll try and jump on them uh, best we can. Anyway, folks, big thank you and I'll see you very soon. Cheerio.